Okay, in this video, we're going to write a program from scratch. Uh, I'll uh, make it up as I go along. Uh, we'll use the read system call, which is similar to something you'll, you're doing in project one. You're using a read and a write. So uh, I'm going to use a read without a write. Don't want to do the whole project for you. Uh, the, uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, count the number of letters read from an input string. That's what I'm going to do. I just made that up. Now, where I am right now, I just have a whistle running, uh, with, uh, Arch 64, the Debian machine. This is the console window. Don't use it until you're ready to shut down. This is a standard Whistle uh, Ubuntu on your on your Windows machine uh, window. Uh, I'm going to make a directory for uh, let's say uh, call it read test, and then I'm going to say code read test. And I'm going to trust myself. I, I, maybe I'm making a mistake in doing that, but uh, I'll try trusting myself. Okay. I am going to create a, an empty file. I'm just going to call it main.capitals. And I'm going to not see that again. Let's see if I have the SFTP plugin installed. I suspect I don't. I do not. So you'll get to see that in this video too. Uh, here is the one we want. Install. And it is now installed. Close the window. Uh, and go back to the uh, files in this folder. I'm going to say Control Shift P, type in SFTP, select the config. I want this to use my uh, ARM virtual machine. So it's not enough just to be in Whistle. Uh, I'm also uh, going to use this to squirt into a virtual machine running inside a virtual machine, which, since I'm doing this on a Mac, is inside a virtual machine. It's amazing that it works at all. Uh, so the user's, the port is 2222. The username is user. Uh, I'll put this in a directory called uh, read test. This needs to be true uh, to save on, uh, upload on save. Open SSH must be true. And the password is the lowercase a. And now let's go over to here. And uh, what am I using for tabs? Let's see. Control Shift P is it again? Tabs. Change indentation. No. Spaces indent using spaces good let me just make sure and it's uh okay good uh let me change something i'll put in um, dot p2 power of two align and the power of two i want to line on is uh two so two to, two to the two is four i'm gonna hit save now and i want to watch down here this this thing down here that's my uh i want to observe to make sure it gets uh, squirted over. And done main.s. Uh, I have the ordinary console window here. I have an ordinary whistle here. Let me uh, SSH to the uh, arch machine, the lowercase a and ls. And I'm hoping to see read test. There it is. And uh, what's in read test is main.s. Perfect. Okay, so the project's all set up now. I can keep coding. Uh, I'm writing 
uh, the uh, code area. And you know what? I'm going to stop working on assembly language and show you what I'm going to do. Um, no, I just told you what I was going to do. Uh, I'm going to continue writing the assembly language, and the program is going to read from standard input, just counting the number of characters when an end of file is seen it will then uh, print out the number of characters. Okay, now I know what I'm doing. So uh, what's next? Now this is written for, this is written for uh, Linux. So it's gonna be just global main, uh, main. And uh, let's begin with the things we know we're gonna have to do. So let's think about it. Uh, so what reg what registers do I need to be concerned with? Uh, X30 is going to be the link register. Uh, X29 is going to be the um, uh, frame pointer. Uh, and now I need some local variables. I need uh, a place to buffer the address of my buffer. Well, it's called cache, the address of my buffer. Read needs to read into a buffer. That buffer must be in RAM. So um, uh, this will be the address of buffer in RAM into which read will deposit uh, characters. Let's get, make some more room characters and i also need a counter so that'll be x21 so uh counts the number of characters red okay good so that's what i know i'm gonna need now that i have a plan a plan everybody i'm gonna store a pair of registers stp and uh, it'll be X29 and X30 uh, onto the stack with a pre-decrement of 16. Uh, STP, because I notice I need two more registers, X20 and X21. Uh, SP, same deal here. Pre-decrement the stack by 16 bytes. Let's do our uh, setting up of the frame pointer with a copy of the stack pointer into X29. And now let's uh, begin undoing everything. Uh, by habit, uh, I expect I'll need to branch to the end of the program. Uh, the end of main, so by habit, I use 99 for a temporary label uh, that is immediately before returning from a function. And that will uh, LDP load a pair from the stack. And I did X20 and 21 last, so I'm going to do X20 and X21 first with a post increment of 16 bytes. And now do the same for X29, X30, with a uh, post increment of 16 bytes. Uh, main is declared as an int, so let me return uh, zero. Um, sure, I'll do it this way. I just had another random idea, but I'll do it this this way. W0 because it's an int, and then WZR because it's an int, and a return. And thank you very much. Um, okay, and then at this point, uh, dot end, new line. Uh, it got saved over here. Let's build it and see what happens. It should build without error and do nothing when I run it. So main.s, 
Oh, I'm not in the right directory, am I? CD to read test and GCC main dot S. No errors, and when I run it, it runs with no complaint. All right, so uh, I need to uh, next. I'll make that buffer. So data and buffer is going to be some space. So um, uh, I'll give it a longs worth of eight bytes. So that's just eight bytes in memory uh, that I can reach at label buffer. Okay, let's load up. I said that X20 is going to be the address of the buffer. So LDR, uh, this uh, instruction in particular can't be used on Mac, but we'll get there when we get there. So X20 and the address of uh, buffer. Okay, that's done. Uh, now let's initialize the counter x21 with xzr and uh, what else? Um, you know what? Uh, I'm going to change the counter into an int instead of a long and that's that. Um, what I'm doing down here is only to make uh, printf a little simpler down below when I finally do print out a value. I'm just thinking ahead, that's all. Uh, okay, so now the counter is initialized to zero. Uh, I bet I'm going to need a label because this is going to be a top of a loop. And uh, what are the arguments to read? So. Um, uh, it's going to return a size T, read, and then uh, an int file descriptor, uh, void star uh, the buffer. So you see, I'm all pretty much all set for that. And then a, uh, no, this is a signed size T there. Uh, and then this one is a size T uh, length. Okay. So what do I need to do? Here is the first argument that will go in X0, uh, or in this case, uh, W0. Uh, so move of uh, W0 um, and the value of 1. The next is the address of the buffer. Well, I already have that stored in RAM, so I'll just copy it over. That's going to go in X1. It's an X register because it is a pointer. It's the one register because it's the second parameter. And that's just going to be where we tucked it away. Whoops. X20. And that's the address of the buffer in RAM. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh, does deposit have an E at the end? I don't think so, but I don't have a spell checker installed. Yeah, that looks better. All right, and uh, now we need how the length. How many are we going to uh, ask to read? That's just one byte, and that's going to be a size T, so it goes in an X register. Size T is a long and unsigned long, actually. And it's going to go on x2 because it's the third parameter. And that's going to be 1. Branch with the link register to read. And read is going to return a uh, the number of bytes that it read. Uh, what we're going to do is... Uh, and the function read returns the number of bytes read in uh, x0. So we're going to test, brand, uh, uh, we're going to compare uh, x0 to 0. 
And uh, so let's see if it was, uh, let's say x0 had a 1 in it. So it would be 1 minus 0. Uh, so the we want to detect when we're done um, by, oh, actually, we'll just do this. Uh, a 1 would be positive. Uh, okay, let's go with the original plan, which was branch if less than or equal to 0 to 10 forward. Okay, now if we get here, uh, read returned a positive number. And uh, it should be IE1. I'm not going to be too persnickety. I mean, I told it to read a length of one. There's no way it's going to read more than one. Okay, so um, uh, and now we want to simply add, thank you. Uh, I'll do it just a, a little bit more generally. I, I'm sure it's going to be a 1. Yeah, all right, so the counter is an x21. Uh, so add the previous value of x21, add 1 to it, and put it back in x21, and then branch without condition to 1 backwards. Okay. Uh, so this is going to keep sucking up input until an end of file occurs, which means I actually could do a test here. Um, and uh, let's build it. Uh, error local label 10 uh, is not defined. Okay, well, I just need it temporarily then. Uh, here's 10. Thank you, assembler. That was uh, nice of you. Okay. So dot slash a dot out. Uh, it's just going to sit here. So I'm typing uh, one, two, three, four, five keys. I hit enter. And it's just sitting there. I'm going to hit uh, control D. And that's end of file. And the program should terminate. Excellent. Okay. Now let's add in the code to do the counting. Uh, I'm sorry. We just did the code to do the counting. Uh, now let's put in the code to do the printing. In order to print, I need, uh, uh, with printf, I need a format string, fmt.askyz, uh, number of bytes read, and that's going to be an integer, uh, and I decided that this just occurs to me that uh, where is, I decided to make W21 an int. And here I'm treating it like a long. So that's a mistake. Now I'm treating it like an int. And this is good enough. Uh, let's do the printout. Uh, the printf is going to look like this. It's going to look like um, uh, printf, and it's going to have that format string, percent %d, new line, and then it's going to have the counter right there, like that. So uh, the first argument is the address of the template. That's going to go in x0. It's x because it's a pointer, and it's 0 because it's the first parameter. So let's do that instruction that you can't do on a Mac. Uh, load the address of format. And then uh, the counter, which would be a copy of w21 and then a branch bl to uh, printf 
when printf returns, it just goes to the uh, code where we uh, we're doing our exit. So we're all set. Uh, save and uh, rebuild it and rerun it. One, two, three, four, new line. That would be a five, maybe. Control D. Yeah, there you go. Number of bytes read, five. Okay, so um, I was sparse on the comments, but the comments that I do have are extremely helpful. I wrote these here so that uh, I wrote this comment so that I could help myself remember what I'm using the registers for. Uh, and that's extremely important. Later in the course, I'll show you a way that you can customize that even more, make it more readable, perhaps. Uh, I wrote a comment that reminded me of the calling sig uh, signature of the read. And uh, I put in a comment that says, when we get here, uh, it's because the read succeeded and we need to add one and loop back to the top. Uh, I reminded myself how to construct the registers to support the printf. Uh, and there we are. That's, that is the whole program. Good enough to hand in, except that this is not the project. But you did see how to use read, which requires uh, the allocation of some space for it to read into. And you saw how to set up the, uh, the project. Uh, one final thing. So we'll exit this. Uh, we're going to exit this uh, SSH. We're, now we're back to just honest goodness whistle. I'm exiting that. And that means we're back to PowerShell in this case. So I'll close that tab. So there's some random junk that showed up on the console. That's why I tell you not to use it. But to shut down, it's going to be root, letter A, then shut down now. We wait. And uh, then we celebrate. Okay, so I'm just still waiting. The reason it's important to let it shut down properly is because there's a disk drive in this virtual machine. If you just shut it down by closing the window, uh, the disk drive inside the virtual machine could get broken. So this I'll exit. And uh, there we are, video op over.